by changing your lifestyle and eating a good diet, your chances of developing a lot of diseases are uh, reduced dramatically, and especially if you go to a, uh, you know, a vegan, vegetarian diet. Welcome back to Healthy Living, here on Supreme Master Television. On today's program, raw vegan health expert and nutritional consultant, Dr. Fred Bishi from New York City, USA, shares his experiences and knowledge on the intimate relationship between health, spirituality, and diet. The human body is such a fantastic machine, uh, which I believe is designed by God. I've seen so many cases where people are in pain just by changing their chemistry and their lifestyle. And what happens, They even with the same problem, they will lose their pain. Like, for instance, when I had my injury to my shoulder, where I, I fractured my collarbone, uh, partially torn two tendons and tore my rotator cuff, and everybody said I needed a shoulder replacement. And three of the best doctors in New York City said I would not get better without a shoulder replacement, said I would never really move my arm again. So, you know, to my faith and my, and my what I was doing to prayer, meditation, and staying on a raw diet. Not only can I move my arm, I can do anything with this arm that a 25-year-old guy can do. Based on his years of research, Fred Bishi recently published the book, Your Healthy Journey. I start from the premise to not eat any processed food. Of course, a plant-based diet, a vegan diet, is the best way to go. You can follow a, a tremendous vegan diet by, by following this book. It tells you how to follow a raw food diet. In this book, based on my own experience of eating a raw food diet without any cooked food for a little over 40 years. So this book is very simple. Dr. Bishi next addresses the issue of getting sufficient vitamin B12 from a vegan diet. The normal levels for vitamin B12 is 200 to 1100 picograms per milliliter. Most people, most uh, clinicians, doctors would like to see you above 400 or 500, but if you're a vegan vegetarian, you will be in the lower normal range, and that's perfectly safe because when, how they find out the normal range is they take 100 people and they average it out. It's like average. So if a person's eating a lot of meat, when you average it out, the average is going to come out to be much higher. If you take 100 raw food vegans, that average is going to be much lower. As your body becomes, more, it becomes cleaner and becomes more biologically efficient, you don't need the amount of nutrients that the average person thinks that the the average um, American or Australian would need yeah. because you become a more refined, sensitive, efficient biological organism and you need less food and you'll have more energy on less food than the calorie under those circumstances. A raw vegan diet is easy to maintain and the following is a short introduction by Dr. Bishi. Basically, it's not really that uh, complicated. Uh, a raw vegan diet consists of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, avocados, um, so in some cases sprouts, and of course, uh, juicing and uh, blended salads and blended uh, green smoothies, they're part of the diet that I recommend. Sprouts have numerous healthful properties, of which many are unaware. Now, I find sprouts sometimes are overlooked by a lot of people into raw foods. Sprouts are beyond raw foods. They're actually live foods. When you consume sprouts, you're consuming a live food. That means the electrical energy is there. Just like we have an aura around us based on our electrical energy, if you took a picture of somebody with Killian photography, you could see your energy field. Plants are the same thing. When plants are alive, they have an energy field. When you take an organically grown lettuce and you pull it out of the ground, it's not the same six hours later 
because the electrical energy, the vital force, which is the most power, powerful of all the healing forces in our food, are really depleted. When I'm home, I eat sprouts every single day. And uh, the more you eat up to a certain point, the, the better off you're going to be. I've seen people that ate a lot of sprouts. One case of a young fellow in Germany had been very, very sick, and he grew all these sprouts because of the way he did it made a complete recovery from a serious disease. Consuming a diversity of food types is also important. So, we have to eat a variety of different foods, not to isolate on a few foods, so you get a variety of different nutrients, known and unknown. We don't know all the nutrients uh, in our food. Only recently, about 20 re years ago, did we realize all the different colors in fresh raw fruits and vegetables, they were really nutrients that were really very, very important. Dr. Fred Bishi's books and DVDs are available at www.fredbishiforhealth.com. We sincerely thank Dr. Fred Bishi for informing so many people about the wonders of the vegan diet, which not only brings about optimum health, but is also the fastest way to halt climate change. We wish Dr. Bishi continued success in his future endeavors. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of Healthy Living. May we all be embraced by heaven's light. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.